Hi, welcome back to Eddie's Kitchen. Recently, I tried a unique Korean side that my Korean church friend made. I fell in love with it right away. It was so good. I thought to share the recipe with you. So, I learned how to make it from my friend and today, I'm going to share the recipe with you. It is made with walnut, peanuts and beef along with a Korean style sauce that is sweet and savory. I know there are some Korean side dishes that are made with walnut, peanuts and beef but I've never tried the one that combines all of them together. The result was beyond my expectation. Before I start to cook, I want to give my special thanks to Katie who became my first patron at my Patreon page. Thank you Katie, your support means a lot to me. Okay, then let's get started. Prepare the walnut and raw peanut. I got these raw peanuts at an Asian grocery store. If you cannot find it, you can also use roasted unsalted peanuts, but raw peanuts work better for this dish. If you have an allergy to peanuts, maybe you can use other nuts such as pecans, macadamia nuts, and so on. Soak the nuts in water for about 15 minutes. This step is optional. After 15 minutes, drain out the water. Put them in a pot and pour water over them until they are covered with the water. Start to cook them on high. Boil them for about 20 minutes. This step will help the nuts to not get hard later and they will absorb the flavor better. Meanwhile, get the lean beef chunk. It tastes better if the meat doesn't have much fat for this recipe. Cut the beef into thin and small pieces. In another pot, add water, soy sauce, cooking wine, sugar, salt, black pepper, ginger powder, and minced garlic. Mix it until the sugar dissolves. Once the broth starts to boil, add the chopped beef. Cook it about 10 minutes on medium-high. By now, the nuts will be cooked and soft so that they will absorb the flavor from the sauce better. Drain out the water and rinse the nuts in cold water. This will help to reduce bitter flavor from the nuts. Drain out the water. Add the nuts into the pot with the beef and sauce. Continue to cook it for 10 minutes on medium-high. After 10 minutes, reduce the temperature to medium and add the corn syrup into the pot. Cook for 15 to 20 minutes more. Depending on your taste, you can adjust the sweetness. In 20 minutes, most of the sauce will be cooked down. Turn off the heat and drizzle the sesame oil. Mix everything together with the sesame seed. Put it in a glass container and keep it in the refrigerator after it cooled down a little bit. You can keep this side dish in your refrigerator and enjoy it for 1 to 2 weeks. Enjoy this delicious and high protein side dish. Did you enjoy this video? If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Share this video with others and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye!